First of all, thank you to my Patreons and all you wonderful people that support me. Right now, I don't have my intros or my endings. It's just a ghetto fabulous edit off of my laptop. Uh, but yeah, this was today. I had a couple packs I had to kill and it's kind of crappy outside. So first we're doing a little penetration test. We're going with 800 and I, I can never get around that corner. So then I tried to like set it to max 1.6 but I didn't save it so then when I tried again it didn't work and then I tried with 400 just to see because you know sometimes multipathing is worse with more power and you could see with the 400 it actually went just as far as the 800 so yeah and then afterwards I'm just like okay I have two packs and you know I'm not gonna fly gentle to like kill these packs we're gonna have to have some fun so one of the best ways for you to do uh uh, throttle control uh, and also the worst is to uh, be inside a basement because th there's so much dust all over my basement by the time I was done flying both packs I was literally breathing the dust and like the whole basement had like a mist of fog it was it put dust on my helmet and my bag and everything Anyways, uh, yeah, so now I'm just flying around, and it's it's hard to control your uh, altitude. This is a 3.5. This is my pusher, and uh, it's only got seven feet. Uh, you remember the first time you flew your FPV drone, and you're like, wow, a whole field is nothing. Like, you can cover so much space so quickly with a drone. But anyways, I'm just trying to kind of, like, practice stuff, and then later... We get into doing flips and rolls and stuff a lot more, which is more exciting. But it's so it's like a garage is probably the best place to practice uh, throttle control. But it's also the worst place because you it's cement, it's concrete. It's so easy to break and damage everything. Yeah, look at the dust and then the batteries on top. So it likes to like flip upside down. This is a pusher. Remember? Because uh, people are always like, oh, what do you do when you land? Or like, what happens if it hits the ground or something? I hit all sorts of things all the time, and it performs just as good as a regular one. Now, why would you do that? The thing is that if I put a naked GoPro on this um, build, there'll be no props in view. If it was regular and I put a naked GoPro on it, there would be props in view unless you gave it like a crazy tilt. But when flying with a GoPro to get like cinematic footage, you want to get kind of like a 20 degree angle. So you'd want 20 degrees on your camera and on your GoPro, and that would not be enough to clear the propellers out of view. So by creating a pusher, you could have either, I could take this camera, put it on the top plate, I'd have no props in view. So that's another thing you could do. So that's what I do with the O3. I make a pusher and then I have no props in view. But with this one, I, I have the props in view because I left the space on the top plate for a naked GoPro. So as soon as this has a naked GoPro on it, I see this, but the GoPro sees nothing. And now we're trying to practice all our flips inside the basement. You guys ever do this? Actually, one of the first times I ever flew a quad was in a basement and it was it was terrible because it was just like I wanted to do a flip and I couldn't and I think I I cracked my drone a bit like I busted things up uh yesterday was super fun it was a crazy day I went with my buddy Tommy came from Montreal and we ripped like four packs in a whole pile of different cool places I tried to build a GoPro in time but it didn't work, so I'm kind of glad it didn't because, uh, I don't know, analog, you don't worry about breaking things as much. And that's the other thing, like, you, I wouldn't want to do this with an O3 or with a GoPro on it, but when it's analog, it's just like boom, boom, boom. And yes, this is kind of like final components. We have, like, the perfect analog drone that's just all good parts. It's just tuned beautifully. It just flies beautifully, and you can uh, get one very soon. I'm just waiting to get some cameras and receivers in, then maybe some antennas, and then I'll have all the parts to start offering binded flies. But even the analogs are, are not super – like the, the, they're around like 300, 300 something or more because I have all good parts. Like it's there's no – 
you know, lots of the bind and flies have lots of like cheap parts. All the parts have been like hand picked and tested over the past couple years. And it took a long time to find something that like I love. So this is like the thing that I'm flying all the time myself. And then you'll be able to kind of experience that too. And every person that tries one of these drones loves it. So smoochy smoochy. Hit that like button. Smash the subscribe. And if you haven't found me before, uh, go look in the playlist. Especially the beginner playlist. It's great. There's lots of educational stuff. And uh, what else? Here's a pile of fun dive videos.